Welcome back to Anderson's TV Acoustic Paradiso to be Hello. Uh, give it its correct name. Yes, Ben. I think I'm facing Blind the right direction. Ben. <laughs> Blind Lemon Ben, fresh from his tour of uh, rootsy blues music in the US. That's it. We know you love a blindfold challenge. Uh, so again, if you haven't seen uh, the last one or two of these we've done, maybe put some links up there or some links down here. But what we've done here is taken four guitars at four different price points. So we've got one of these is under 500 pounds, one is between 500 and 1,000, one between 1,000 and 2,000, and one has no limit whatsoever. And they're no. all what we call mid-size guitars. A um, bit of a broad term, I suppose, that. But if you think, could be Grand Auditorium, could be Orchestral Model, could be Triple O kind of vibe. So smaller than a Dreadnought, bigger than a Parlor. Fantastic. Is that fair to sort I of... I would say so, yeah. So, Ben does not know uh, what we've bought in here. He doesn't know what the brands are or anything like that. Um, and if you would like to participate in this blindfold challenge, uh, you just need to turn your monitor off now or look away from your telephone. Uh, so I'm going to pass Ben these guitars in a random order. Ben, you may strum, tune, smell, whatever you want to do. <laughs> and I would like you to try and tell me the order of the guitars price-wise. So oh, Certainly. We shall start with this one. Okay. Ooh. And I okay. shall make notes. Right. Okay. Change key there, but... Okay. I felt like I should run around the back garden being chased by <laughs> semi-clad ladies in a sort of 1970s uh, misogynistic comedy. I mean, wait till um, I've got the blindfold off at least. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's what, okay. That's a starting point. That's a starting point. Now, last time we did this, you kind of, you gave me a few thoughts on the guitar. Yes. Uh, and perhaps you'd like to um, just explain a little bit about why this kind of in between a parlor and a dreadnought style of acoustic guitar is uh, so popular. Sure, um, I I think this kind of size is good because it covers that middle ground between, yeah, like you say, the very small parlors, which people tend to use more for finger picking, and the dreadnoughts, which you know tend to be flat picking machines. Something in the middle, you can do both effectively. Not that you can't finger pick on a dreadnought and you can't play with a pick on a parlor, but you know what I mean. This mid-size guitar. It lends itself to finger picking. You can get really um, kind of the articulation in the frequencies that this size body accentuates kind of tends to lend itself to the finger picking stuff or the single line stuff very well. But then, you know, there's always exceptions to the rule. But for like this one that I'm playing now, um, you know, it doesn't have the bass of a dreadnought but it does have more low end than the very small guitars. So if you're doing that kind of picking stuff. You can, you can get a little bit more body for your bass lines. I wish I could play that good whilst being able to see the guitar. <laughs> anyway, right, okay, so there is All right. numero uno. Thank you so much, That's sir. Right. I will give you the next one. And again, it really matters not the order. So all you need to do now is tell me whether you think this is more expensive or not as expensive as the first okay. one. Oh, this is more expensive. <laughs> Okay, so compared to the previous one, this one has got a lot more of that dynamic range that, than, than that last one. And also... Kind of tonal variation between 
different parts of the body. Seems more pronounced on here. It's got a much, it's got a wider neck as well, but that. Perfect. Like Thank you so one. much. That's all right. Okay, so we've got an order of uh, the one you just played being the more expensive of the two so far. Yeah. Let's see if we can throw a cat amongst those pigeons. All right. And see if we can confuse you with the third one. Oh, okay. So this is... Um, it's got a different low end to that previous one. Which I would say, I'm going to guess it's different wood. Um, it out of tune. Okay, so it doesn't have quite as much in the way of dynamic range, I would say, this one as the previous one. Of the three so far, I would say this is the middle one in terms of price. Okay. Although I might live to regret that. I don't no, know. It's, <laughs> man, it's, it's your... It's your, what do you, it's, I don't know, it's your rodeo, isn't it? Is that what they say? I don't know, my, my funeral, if I get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Koki, let's pop this back down here. We will give you the, um, we will give you a, another run through at the end when we're done. So this is the fourth right. and final one oh. um, that I would like you to decide um, okay. whereabouts that sits. Okay. Okay. So. <laughs> oh, God. I would say the, di the difference here is really tricky. Uh, I think this is probably one of the one of the cheaper ones. Um, can't decide whether this is the cheapest one or the second cheapest one. Well, I tell you, do you know what? I think this is almost exactly the same way that the Dreadnought one turned out in terms of, you know, <laughs> so. I got that one right, so I'm hoping. <laughs> Let's have the recap for everybody. Okay. Um, I'm really interested in the comments section to know if anyone's been playing along with this. What do you think so far? But just to recap, the uh, Ben is struggling to decide between the one he played first and the one he played last as the two most affordable ones and then he thinks the one he played second yeah is the most expensive one i do and then he thinks the one he played third is the next most expensive one i, do. I think so now here's your final run through okay okay in the order that you think they are for you to finally decide if you think that is the order sure or if you would like to change it so the one that you have at the moment you might as well stay with because that's one of the ones okay. that you think could be the most affordable yes Thank you. Number right. one. Uh, the one you thought was, in fact, this is the one that you were sort of going, oh, I'm, not, I'm not sure this could be the cheapest one or it could be uh, the next one, but.
missing the first fret there. <laughs> okay, yeah, the, the previous one I played was the cheapest. Why do you say that? I'm not saying you're right or wrong, uh, because um, from where I'm sitting, they sound remarkably similar. So what 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 do you think is for? It's actually it's a feel thing on, okay. on this. The previous one, um, there were a couple of the frets that felt just ever so slightly not rough, but you know. <laughs> If you've played a lot of guitars, especially kind of some of the lower end ones that may have come on a shipping container, sometimes when you get them out of the box, the frets are not rough necessarily, but they've got a little kind of bit yeah, of... they're not polished. They're not polished. Yes. And that's what it feels like. So okay. on these, I can, the frets are nice and kind of smooth. The previous one, there were a couple of frets where the where if you took a bit of wire wool to it, yeah. or steel wool, it would probably just Fine. polish that out. But okay, yeah. we're going in with uh, the next one then. Thank you all. I okay. take this back. So... Okay. So this is the one that I thought was third most expensive. It is indeed. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, good. I like this one. You still, so you're happy to go with, you're going to stay with the previous one as the, in sort of second spot and this one now as the third most expensive, no, which one? Uh, yes, oh, so this, yeah. So number three, you know what I mean, as in this is, this is the, not quite the most expensive, but almost. Yeah, I think so. Can I try the other one as well, just as a... You want, you just, yeah, yeah, no, I just... Super expensive so, one. Um, but yeah, I think so. I think this is, this feels like number three in terms of okay. ascending price. Ascending price. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. We should go, what we really need is a Bruce Forsyth style play the cards right. So then we go, and there you go, higher. Good game, good game. Good game, good game. <laughs> This is it. It's got to be the most expensive one, hasn't it? Surely. It's, uh, I, 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 I'm just going to look. I mean, so we're, just before we, I'm gushing slightly here, but we're basically saying uh, for audience, right, we think, yeah. Ben thinks this one is the cheapest. This one is the next up. This one in uh, number three and number four, i.e. the most expensive, this one. I and so. uh, yes, yeah, so by all means, take your uh, mask off you may reveal now, and unsurprisingly, uh, <laughs> I knew, from the first run through, I actually don't think a great deal separates the first three tonally. I mean, obviously you're playing them and yeah. you feel that you're probably picking up a more of a nuance. Mm. From the first strum, this one was just like, is so much better than the other three. It's I unbelievable. Mean, it is, this is the Clapton one, isn't it? It's yeah, basically, is... it's a, just the classic, classic. I mean, whether you buy the Clapton signature or the regular version of that, I don't think it really matters. No, you know? I so mean... If you're a Clapton fan, fine. But it's just yeah. holy moly. Holy moly? This... Holy moly. I mean, this is... this is Because be I, re I remember doing a video on this with Pete, with the John Mayer one yeah. as well. And yeah, this is yeah, this is just beautiful, isn't it? The, yeah, the Treble O's, classic. Again, it's like the, the D28 and the Dreadnought video. But what was the order of the other three? Okay, and so you the order, tell me, yes, man. that's true. So the order of the other three. Actually, yes, so um, we do have some controversy, at least in this video, which we didn't get in the Dreadnought video, where you actually have spoilt it if you haven't watched that yet, so I oh. won't go too much into that. Okay. So yeah, you, you picked, uh, you didn't get the order quite right, so... Oh, didn't I? No, and I, I, I kind of feel... because... That's you know it is tough in this sort of in this sort of price range. There are some great guitars out there that aren't necessarily you know the standout yeah. performance. Anyway, so the Sigma you chose here. The Sigma was the least expensive one at three hundred and forty nine pounds, and that was the one that you said was the cheapest one. So okay. 
ding, you got that right. The Martin, obviously, you've said was the most expensive one. Uh, the Martin, the, the 0028 Eric Clapton edition, 4,000 something pounds. Yeah. Yes, that was the most expensive one. You got that right. So here, the two in the middle, you picked the Alvarez MFA 70, which is 7.99, as opposed to the Faith uh, Legacy Earth series, which is 12.99. Interesting. And you got those the wrong way around. Did I? As in you preferred, you, you felt that the Alvarez was the second most expensive oh, right. in ascending order. I mean, uh, the Alvarez stuff consistently punches above its weight, I have to say. I would um, agree. I think of all the brands that we do, it, but it's, it's that classic brand trade-off, isn't it? Do you buy the one with the name on the headstock that everyone knows and yeah. you accept you pay a bit of a premium for it? Or do you buy something that's slightly less, less well-known? Although I, I, perhaps I'm doing Alvarez a disservice. They've been around for about 50 years and say, probably are really while, well known. But um, it's prob yes, probably not got quite the brand kudos of a, of a, you know, a Martin or a Taylor or, no, a, no. or a Gibson or something like that, is it? So, um, well, well there that's, you are. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't get it right, but it was from, from my, it's always interesting doing the blindfold stuff because you are just working on your ears and your hands. And yeah, that was that was the order. I mean, it was it was close. These three were very close, like we, like yeah. we said. Um, I hate doing. I hate being the blindfoldee, because yeah. you, what you you are convinced when you can see that uh, you know. And it's not about necessarily seeing it. It's about. I'm sure it's that brand association. Mm. I'm convinced that when you know that what you're playing is a certain brand, it totally overrides. Yeah, other senses, and so it's only when you don't know that you truly go, "Wow, they all sound the same." <laughs> you know, it's like, so uh, anyway, look, how did you do? Let's yeah. let's hear from you in the comments section. Um, perhaps you have a favourite here, but you know, again, I'm, was it unfair? I don't know. I mean, in this particular shootout. There is only a £900 difference between our cheapest one and our most expensive one. And then we yeah. literally tripled that price or whatever until we get up yeah, to I the mean, mine. So it's a premium fine. guitar. It is fine, isn't it? it this is go. beautiful, though, and I got to play it again, which is always a treat. <laughs> bucket, bucket list stuff, isn't it? Okay. Oh, totally. Thank you so much for tuning in again. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in another video soon. Thank see you, you soon. Ben. Yeah, nice see you nice soon. to see you. Yeah.